Boy Reefers, I'm Daniel, and this is part two of the No Skimmer Sump, and I added one after about two years of this broken itty bitty little skimmer on this 400 gallon system. It's a 200 gallon refugium, there's a lot of chato in here, it is growing everywhere, um, and there's not much bio load. I don't really feed this tank much. So I was wondering before what would happen to this skimmer when I plugged one in, and this tank does have coral. There's a few fish in here, but very, very limited. So, we do have an awesome sand bed. Oh, check those out. These bubble tips are sick. It's hard to, without the filter, you can't see how intense they are, but those are like the Black Widows, unbelievable. So, the skimmer is going crazy. I did have to turn it down, and I did open the wastegate completely. So, I have the water level pretty low, and it's still doing its thing, and I just plugged it in. So I'm kind of curious. I will come back later on tonight and check it out, but there's the refugium. It's been growing. I haven't really had any problems with the system, but I just wanted to see what would happen with the skimmer, and like I said, well, I tested my phosphates are low, but I guess the breakdown process is just pulling out a whole lot. I did stir up the sand, or I should say the detritus, so the skimmer should pull out a lot of detritus, which is good. That's a very good thing. You could use, there's different types of products that will bond. Uh, Fritz has one, a sludge remover. I haven't had a chance to really test out these products, but anyone who's ever tried any of these, feel free to leave your... Um, feedback in the comments below. So I do need to add my blue lights to this tank. I've been testing out. I moved some strips over here. These are the Orphic Daylights and I do have the Orphic Ultraviolet on here. Uh, you definitely need some more blue. The Ultraviolet gives it kind of more of a pinkish look and I like the deeper purple blue look. So when you have the filter on it, it does look incredible. This is the Colorado Sunburst. Absolutely stunning, stunning coral. I'm super happy to have one. Um, I'm gonna treat that like my baby. I'm gonna feed it later on, and hopefully it'll grow up and be just as good as this rainbow. This rainbow bubble tip anemone has probably dropped about 100 babies since I've had it. So very, very cool coral. Absolutely good looking. Um, those of you who are still watching, who, if you have a question about uh, sumps, refugiums, macroalgae, feel free to ask me and I will get back to you. Um, those of you who are watching because you enjoy my channel and you're watching just because you like what I'm doing, I want to show you a few things in the other room. So there is a tank that I'm working on as part of the show, the store demonstration. This is just a demo of what we can do. So this isn't actually going to be the tank. So. I'm just going to show you guys, and I do appreciate anyone who's watching to this far. All right, so this is the tank. This is what I'm working on. I was going to make it a peninsula tank, and then I got greedy and said, hey, if I can see it from three sides, why not all four? So what I want to do with this tank, okay, it's got the whole filtration set up. There's an auto top off bucket at the bottom. There's the return with the skimmer. Then there's a refugium here, so the water is going to drop down twice from this tank. So what I want to do is drill the center and create a sculpture that has a center overflow that goes all the way up to the top. So it'll drain from the center and then at that same time, we're going to pump up water right next to it. And that's going to collect the sand and go back up for the waterfall. So I know this is kind of hard to imagine at the moment, and I'm going pretty fast, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on what I was doing so you can join in on the process. If you have something to say, feel free to join in. Um, you know, later on down the road, I will make some cooler things, but this is just, like I said, just a demo. <clears throat> we still have some more time. Uh, we are working on the walls this week. I'm trying to get the electrical together. It's really tough getting permits and everyone on the same. <clears throat> Rob, I appreciate you. Uh, thanks for sending those messages. It's very, um, it's very helpful. So I do like those motivational speakers too as well. They get me going in the morning. But I am going to create a sculpture. So 
like this big hunk of craziness that's behind here. This is a coral sculpture that I did and I was gonna finish it and I just never did, it's just too big. There's no tank big enough for that, that sculpture. I don't know why I went that crazy. You need a, a four by four tank just to put that thing in there. So <clears throat> anyway, so I'm gonna make a custom sculpture for this and it's gonna have a sand overflow. And I really wanna show that off, but I have to drill the bottom. And if the glass is not tempered, I should be able to do that pretty easy. I do have some diamond bits. I gotta check the sizes I'll need. I am gonna have to put a bulkhead through there, but anyone who has drilled before, you're familiar with this, I will probably have to make a jig just to be smart. Uh, you do not want these bits walking around. So I'll pre-drill a hole and then slide this in. But I'll do that live, because if it blows up, it, it'll be pretty funny or it's gonna be sad. Either way, I'll have to make something out of acrylic just to test it out if the glass doesn't work and it's too hard. Because I was gonna come through the bottom here too. I wanted to drill this little tank and have it go right down into there. You know, I'll have the sock. So, we'll see. It may be possible. Those of you who have had experience, feel free to chime in. Uh, this is about, I think, a 20 or 29 gallon tank, so the glass is pretty thin. We shouldn't really have any issues with it, uh, support-wise. But that's my update for now. Um, hope that tank comes out looking as cool as I think it will. And here's something else I do in my spare time. I was painting a picture of a Colorado sunburst anemone. It's not finished. I still have to do a couple more layers to the bubbles uh, just to bring out some highlights and fade in some colors but that's my special feature and I did paint around the canvas so when you're walking by it kind of like jumps out at you so that's that all right guys um, the paludarium upstairs is pretty awesome I've been super psyched with that uh, since I do need to walk up there anyway I might as well keep it rolling and just show you guys that um, as well. So I have a few things to finish. There's the graft in the back. There's my clown still hosting the rock and enemy. They're too freaking big for it, but they think it's cool anyway to try to sleep on it. I did have these neon tetras and they look stunning at nighttime. When I turn off the white lights and just have a little bit of moonlight effect on here. Oh man, that's cool. I, mean, I haven't figured out how to use the misters yet, but they kick on whenever they want to. And it's super cool to see it. I do need to put a fan in the top just to keep that clean. There you guys go. All right, I think that's all my updates for now. Everything seems to be legit. I do have a ton more to work on. There's always something. Uh, so, I sent some files and I forgot to attach the pictures and stuff to it, so they sent it back to me. And we've just been playing tag today. So, and this is me signing off. Until next time. As always, thanks for watching and happy reading. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.